So, that file's back. And they now have a Kickstarter. And based on how it looks currently, it looks like they're succeeding drastically. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Or at least not yet. The purposes of this video are not only to maybe give a little bit of attention to the Kickstarter, but also for me to talk about my most wanted episode of Death Battle. That most likely won't happen, but I do still really want it. And, well, this is the best way I can get that message out there. Because I can't afford most of the stuff on the Kickstarter, if any of it. But, yeah. Let's begin. My most wanted death battle episode is Sonic.exe versus Red from Sonic.exe versus Godzilla NES, which are both creepy pastas, and this has been my favorite matchup for quite some time. Not only is Sonic.exe one of my favorite all-time creepy pastas, not because the original story was good or anything, but he played a massive part in me liking horror as a child. I believe I was introduced to him in Cartoon Fight Club's Sanic vs. Sonic.exe. Yeah, it feels kind of weird that I was introduced to him that way. I may have seen him earlier. And actually, for a very long time, this character scared the ever-loving daylights out of me. By far being the second creepiest character to me when I was a kid and just kind of being introduced to horror. And overall, I like the idea of a creepy Sonic. Not only that, he's also had quite the comeuppance over the years with FNF making him popular again, and a bunch of other fan games that are, well, way better than the original. In story and gameplay. So overall, yeah, I love Sonic.exe. However, don't let Sonic.exe get all the attention here. Red is also one of my favorite creepypastas, but kind of for a separate reason. Unlike him, me liking him specifically, or as a character, I like what he stands for. He's a virus. He is a being who just corrupts all and is a presence not only in the game realm, but also the real realm. Sonic.exe actually is this as well, but Red is more notable as a threat. Since Red also has the benefit from actually coming from a decently made story and having a really good creepypasta game, which is, well, what really helps him. Another thing that made me love this matchup was the One Fish Mob Fan War episode of it. It wasn't the main contributor to why I love this episode, but it was really cool seeing this fight come to life, and that's when I started loving the matchup even more and wanting to see more people talk about the matchup. But let's get to their connections and why I believe that this is the best fight for Sonic.exe. The reason why I think that this is the best episode for Sonic.exe is because their connections go far beyond the surface level of they are creepypastas. Because the characters are very similar. Not only are they, well, haunted video game related creepypasta characters, they also have more of a connection to the main character and people that they actually know and cared about. In Sonic.exe's case, it was the best friend of the main character who he haunted and theoretically died, or Tet I is implied that he was killed by him. And Red affected the main character's girlfriend to end up killing herself. Meaning there's more of a deeper connection to, well, the real characters. Not, well, not only the game that they're in, but the characters that are playing that game. They're both existing in, re in a form of reality and the game itself. Not only that, before they actually do all of that, they haunt the characters that are actually you play in the game. I know that sounds weird, but I'm this is the first time I'm getting used to this, and I'm not really that good at recording. So you're going to hear me stuttering a lot and saying some nonsense here and there. Probably should have warned you 
that at the beginning of the video. But overall, I think those connections make this the most likely, or not likely, but I think the best episode for him. And yes, this is mostly because of Sonic.exe, why I like this matchup, because he is definitely my preferred character here. I, I'm not really going to say who I think wins this matchup, because I don't really know. It kind of depends on what you use for either of them, but uh, I might go into that a little more at the end, but that's for a future me to decide. Now, I've heard some other ideas for Sonic.exe's before, from Sonic.exe versus Sanic, which I actually liked a lot for a while, and Slenderman, which I just don't like at all, but I don't think that's really that popular of a matchup. And I think another popular one was Sonic.ac versus Kara from Undertale. And I, I respect that matchup. I think it could work, especially since they are very opposingly, very morally different to each other, which could be interesting. I just don't think it has the best connections other than they're kind of like dead spirits, I, I think. I don't really get the full connections of the fight. It, it could be cool, but I don't really get the connections myself. Said that already. But, yeah. Um, Sonic XE versus Red, in my opinion, is the one with the most connections, and the fight, I think, would be the most fun. Now, when it comes to potential banter, it's kind of hard to say. Neither of them, or I guess Red only, isn't really the talking type, and he will taunt others occasionally, but he mostly speaks on what he thinks will happen in that moment. He's kind of like, kind of like Unicron in a way, like where he kind of says, this is what will happen, or what he believes is going to happen, because he's superior to everyone else. Uh, Sonic.exe, on the other hand, is most likely going to be over arrogant, or at least decently cocky throughout the fight, and is probably going to be the one having most of the banner. Maybe not, like, super cocky, because he's fighting a threat that's a lot bigger than him, but definitely at the start of the fight, he would start arrogantly, but throughout the fight, I would like him to understand that this was not a threat to play around with, or at least not until... He gets a finishing blow. Or if he doesn't, just have him be kind of frustrated and maybe even terrified that he messed with this threat that was just beyond something he could control. And since Sonic is used to control, uh, he's not going to exactly have the best reaction to being defeated by this thing. So yeah. Again, I don't know who wins. I'm just saying that either way... I think Sonic.exe should have this reaction of, oh crap, I shouldn't mess with this thing. Or, I shouldn't be playing around with this thing or else I'll actually die. Overall, while I could continue saying more of what I like about this matchup, it's going to be mostly more of the same. And I just kind of wanted to get a quick video out just to say what my favorite matchup was and for another purpose is to tell you that uh death as a kickstarter at this point it could be a couple days old but if you can i would recommend funding it because this show means a lot to me and a lot of other people and maybe even to you and i just wanted to give a little bit of attention out there no one's telling me to do this. I just wanted to do this since I love Death Battle. And I just want to get as much attention as possible, despite my channel being very unpopular. Like, But I might as well do my best. So, yeah. I hope you're able to donate. If you can't, that's fine, obviously. And maybe spread the word. I mean, yeah. I'll have the Kickstarter link in the description, and I hope you have a good day, and comment down below what your favorite matchup is. See ya!